at another part of the Umbra Space Industries path. Many of you know this as the like space station and moon base flight pack, but you know, I mean, yeah, it adds a lot of uh, colonization aspects to the game, like it adds like a greenhouse where you have to have certain materials, which you'll, I'll, which I'll show you once I get into the BAB. Um, so right off the bat, you can notice there's nothing in the pod section. Um, if we go to fuel tanks, nothing here. Engines, uh, not, nothing here. And there's really nothing much until you get to the first structural. We have this Kerber tail colony tube, which basically allows your Kerbals to get around in like... In, um, you know how in, in your um, other bases, like you, like you have a moon base or something, you'd have to have the Kerbals go on EVA? before you could, could get them from craft to craft but with this tube you you can and with the crew manifest mod you can just transport them you know from inside but also we have these OKS hub connectors which is basically just a simple hub connector but and then we have which is 1.25 meter variety but we also have uh, this size where it has these structural elements to it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there's this module cap, which is just pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then we have these station tubes, again, in the structural variants. Um, and then... There's not much more to say in the structural. No, nothing in aerodynamics. All of it's in utility. So, we have the aeropon- first we have the aeroponics module. First, in the in the space station version, this is what you would use in an orbital space station, like I said. And this, and then this one is the version you use, like in a moon or Mars base, where you actually land the craft. But if we read the description, the um, this is this is the greenhouse one. And if we go into uh, resources, you see it requires machinery and spare parts. So you could just have the machinery go in there now, or you could take, or you could uh, put it in later with the uh, su supply mission. Um, but not, but this, this is the actual greenhouse. The thing is, the, all of these are like subsystems or something else, which is really cool. And it, because that it's like the way a real space station works. Like something needs this, and this needs this, and it's it's just a. Well, I mean, it's complicated, but, I mean, it's, it's realistic. And so, this is a biolab, which is what, is what you use to get water to your plants, and this one also has just machinery and spare parts on it as well. Um, and you'd, you'd send all of these up and just, probably different modules and the such, and see, these, these are very light, these are only like two massive two which is which is like unexpectedly like you could do it in a very small rocket but one of the heavier ones is this colony control center and it has a ma which has a mass of six which is basically the brains behind your whole colony which um basically it's basically like the mother the mother board of, of your of a computer or something like that um and as you see, it it comes with punch cards. Silly reference to the days when when there were really old computers and spare parts, which is used to um, construct things on exp and extraplanetary launch pads, but not the mod exp Like this comes, I think this comes with its own variant of extraplanetary la launch pads. And then you have this fabrication module, which is gigantic, which allows you to make parts and stuff like that, which we, like, you see, if I go to spare parts, this, these can make it, like, you know, and then we have this fuel refinery, which it, which refine, which refines the, the, um, main, um, resource of this mod, which is carbonite, or, um, carbidronium, which is kind of like a very high efficiency fuel, and that, which, 
is used to power like very high specific impulse because it's supposed to be represent like uranium and that sort of stuff. But um, besides that, we have the regular kerbal kerbatat, which is basically quarters for your kerbals. Like it provides, and these all these all provide a capacity of two, but this is basically your living quarters, and it, you know, it comes with machinery and spare parts as well. Um, and then we have this inflatable storage module, which, um, can inflate to, uh, you see we have oxygen, water, and, because, you see we have oxygen, water, and food here, that, that goes along with a couple of life support mods, which, I mean, well, I mean, it could go with it, but it also goes along with these aeroponics modules and all the greenhouse stuff, but if we go to next cargo, we have waste and all that, um, compost and biomass, which we're using greenhouse again. Then this is like your more, your, your, um, minerals and all that stuff where you have this on the moon and you harvest carbonite from it or something like that. Um, and then refining, you have these, I don't even know these, medical, and then we have refining too, which is the Then here we go, this, this is the carbonite I was talking about. And then we have manufacturing, which provides structural components, electronic components, and mechanical components. And then we have spare parts machinery and rocket parts, which you can use to construct rockets on different worlds using a launch pad, which will, I will reveal later. Um, the fueling, we have liquid fuel oxidizer, and we have monopropellant solid fuel and liquid hydrogen. Then we have a life support, and yeah, this, like I said, it's life support. And uh, then we have this inflatable logistics module. Let's see if we go to. It, it's basically the same thing, but in the Landover variant. And then we have this inflatable agricultural module, which is basically like the actual greenhouse itself. Like you, this is what it would look like fully deployed. And this comes with, uh, I don't know, help me. It works with the aeroponics module, basically. Um, and then we have a habitation module which is uh, basically like a Kerbatat, but on um, not another world or something like that. And then we have these docking ports. They're custom docking ports for, uh, which kind of look pretty cool and unique. And then we go to here. We have this logistics hub, which has a mass of 15. And basically, you can use it which the cool part about it is that you can use it to transfer resources in between two different ships, but not not having to dock them together. And the, apparently in the description it says it uses like nanites to refuel your craft, which is, I mean, it's just a very convenient thing to not have to dock the craft together. It just takes out an extra step. So now we have this machinery plant, which does basically the other the thing that the, all, all the other plants did, but produces machinery parts and all that stuff. And then we have, uh, this is drill that connects with the uranites. I've never heard, I've never heard of that. Is that, because all I've heard of is, you can see, you can see the cool drilling animation on the, and we have one with, with water and minerals, which you can eat, which you can also use on the surface of like the moon or something like that. Yeah, they are pretty massive, so you're gonna have to have a pretty big counterweight on the other side so it's over to not tip over. But um, then we also have these spando tubes. Like if we go here, these are just see we have these four meter, uh, two meter, and eight meter variants, and that's based on the to the length of which they expand. And this is the mobile launch platform, which is a really cool way of making um, your rockets launch off. Like, if you wanted, you could put this on Duna and and um, make rockets that could launch on Duna, which would be vastly because it would reduce the delta V to get anywhere. But it requires a lot of parts first. You, you can see that it requires all the manufacturing stuff first and everything like that. And then we have a mobile refinery, 
which basically refine stuff in the pol refine like stuff like the metal polymers and chemicals as you can see there. Then we have a repair shop which convert recyclables back to components and all that stuff. And then we have this agricultural module, which is basically you saw back here this version of this, this inflatable agriculture module. That's basically like that, but the orbit, but the, that that's the orbital version. And you can uh, use textures to clear and opaque, and as you can see, it's not very much different. I mean, it's kind of kind of is, but then we have this orbital shipyard, which is basically like the same thing as this launch platform. But the thing is, you can make the rockets in orbit, which is really cool. You have like this, not like, you can make a space dock like I have Star Trek out of that. And then we have this OKS habitation ring, which is tremendously cool. Wait, does it rotate? I don't think it rotates, but, but in the real solar, in the real one, I, there was this Nautilus one, and it can rotate, which is really cool, but... I mean, it, it does the job, you know. And it can carry up to 10 kerbals. Oh my god. And then we also have this, in speaking of inflatables, we also have, uh... Let's just... Okay. So we have this inflatable work this. It, it was the size of that when it's undeployed. Basically just a giant sphere. I mean, it's nowhere near the size of this, so... I don't really suggest using it. But anyways, um we also have these mo these modules. This this would be used in like a, a cargo ship, which you use to bring up like you bring supplies up to your station. And see so you can have spare parts in here, recyclables, biomass, compost, food line or oxygen, waste, and all the and all the waste stuff would be in there and then you could be in and then that will go back down to Earth. And then we have this Pioneer Modules. Which are basically... Wait. Sorry, sorry everybody. It's basically, I think it's basically like small scale versions of like... This kind of stuff that I was showing back there. But then we also have um, the Power Distribution Unit, which is the... Which is obviously produces all your power in the form of a nuclear reactor here it, and it comes in the orbital variant and the and the um, lander variant and both have who can produce uh, where is it? 1500 electric charge per second and required um, enriched uranium which is another resource in this pack and then finally we have the science lab in the um the lander variant and the um orbital variant which is uh you can have machinery depleted uranium i don't even know why you would have depleted uranium and enri enriched uranium i don't i mean i don't really know for a science lab why you'd have that either but you know it's there and then so what i anyway, then well this is la- well, this is supposed to be- meant to be last, but, you know, whatever. Um, so this workspace module, this is basically meant to house one Kerbal, and then go on top of that. Like, you could just keep stacking and stacking and stacking, but that would make your lander extremely unstable. So many designs go with either one or two, if they need the space. Which would still make it stupendously tall. But anyways, uh, last but not least, we have the storage tank, which is a larger version of this thing, and can carry everything from, it's basically like that inflatable storage module, but, you know, it can carry, this is the life support variant waste, every, like, it's basically the same thing as that inflatable storage module, but in, like, this form, and if you, if you, if you can, if you have it fully, fully, um, fully taken up in space wise, this can weigh upwards of 18 tons, which is a bit, which would make it very hard for most lifters to carry. But anyways, I think this is all the show with this pack, I'm the Gaming Space, and signing out.